we've got to do stuff now, we really have. We've got to smarten up, we've got wisdom, let's use it to sort this out. You know, we've got to sort this out for the next generations and for the planet. This is a march for the COP26. So it's a coalition of groups, local groups, so we're in Eastbourne. Um, yeah, all coming together just to show the governments that we need action. The local group representing Seaford on the march were the Seaford Environmental Alliance Group. Earlier I had gone to meet them at the new climate hub in Seaford. And it's our opening of the, of the Seaford hub, climate hub today. And we're very excited because um, we are bringing together a lot of groups and individuals. The group that I'm particularly interested in is one that started up this year. It's called On The Verge. On The Verge really started in lockdown when I think a lot of people started appreciating their local green spaces and we wanted to do more to try and connect these green spaces and connect people with their green spaces. Um, and make more space for wildlife in the town. But we're also hoping to raise awareness among people so that people are taking action as well and that we learn together about how we can mitigate the effects of the climate. My name's Lara and I'm part of the Seaford Environmental Alliance. Um, I've been particularly involved with Trees for Seaford and also I'm a member of the UNA Climate and Oceans. We organise international events over Zoom and talk to people from different countries who are organising a huge variety of different projects. So it's really interesting to see how the SEA's work compares with work in, say, for example, South Africa. Obviously, the most recent thing I've done is to be involved in meadow making at the local primary school, which is Annecy School. Um, so we scraped off a whole bank with rakes and planted yellow rattle and native meadow plants and then we also helped the younger children to plant some apple trees so they now have an orchard which will hopefully inspire some, some of them maybe to start growing their own food and to start gardening as well. We go friendly to plant trees because if we don't plant trees and we keep on chopping them down then there won't be enough trees in the world to sustain all life on earth so if you kill and if you chop down trees it's like chopping down a living thing because trees breathe. We plant trees and plant wild flowers so we can improve the environment and see what if we can make a change. And, and save the world from climate change. Yes. A lot of us just chop down trees and don't we plant them? On the Verge, which is about rewilding our grass verges. Um, and getting the community involved so that we do it. So we start making corridors for nature um, um, through Seaford and bringing, bringing nature to your, your, you know, your garden or your grass verge and let's see what we can create because actually all the grass verges we have in the UK is about 50% of um, all the grasslands and meadowlands that we have in the UK equivalent of that and we could grow another 400 billion flowers on our grass verges if we start letting them rewild themselves and managing them properly because we over manage everything um, and we've got to change that we've got to start getting connected with nature again. I was really inspired to join On The Verge. We're doing a lot of surveys of green spaces around the town and um, it was just so exciting to get involved and meet different people and encounter some plants that I hadn't actually seen for some time. One of the projects that we have ongoing is uh, pledging one metre square of, in your garden for wildlife and I looked at the website this morning and we have over 9,000 square metres pledged as wildlife gardens or wildlife habitats. In two or three years Seaford is going to be so green, it's going to be unbelievable. We've destroyed so much of our world and polluted so much of our world and although this is just a small place in a smallish town, if we can't affect change where we live, how can we affect change in our world? 
and raise awareness as well. I think when people are more in touch with nature, then they start to care about it. If you don't experience that, then it's something you're detached from. If we uh, learn to understand something and, and value it, then we want to, uh, to save it.